So what are we discussing? Emphasis. And then we said emphasis can be created using sentence order. Change the order around, bring in maf'ul muqaddam, maf'ul bihi muqaddam, maf'ul fihi muqaddam. Using harf for tahqiq, which is what? Qad or laqad. Or harf nunu tawkid, by bringing a lam at the beginning of a sentence. Or uh, uh, you bring in lam at the beginning of a sentence, putting a fatha at the end and bringing a fa'lun mudari. Nun shadda at the end. Okay? And the last thing we then was harfu hasr. What's harfu hasr mean? When you have illa preceded by a nafi. So I want to explain this to avoid any confusion. Okay? Like at this table. Okay? Right. So illa. When you see illa, then we have to put our, our minds into color, not into black and white. And the first question we have to ask is what? Is it an affirmative sentence or a negative sentence? What's the first question? Affirmative or negative? If it's affirmative, there's no negative, then what happens? The illa is going to be what? Harfustisna. And what does that mean? Except. For example, Ja'ar rijalu illa zaydan. Ja'ar rijalu illa zaydan. So now, first question is it affirmative? Ja'ar rijalu illa zaydan. Is it negative in a sentence? No. So what kind of particle is illa going to be? Harfustisna. And what meaning is it, going to, is it going to give? Except. If it's a negative sentence, what's illa going to be? Harfu hasan. And what meaning is that going to give? Only. Okay? And what's that? For example, ma is negative. And plus illa. You see? So keep this in mind. Right? And there's another example, for example, here. Another way of looking at it. If it's affirmative sentence, it's called harfu istisna. What does it do? What's its purpose? Exclusion. How do you translate it? Except. For example, جَاءَ الرِّجَالُ إِلَّا زَيْدًا The men came except Zaid. If it's a negative sentence, what's it called? Harfu? Hasl. What's the purpose of it? Emphasis. How do you translate it? Only. مَا جَاءَ إِلَّا زَيْدٌ Okay? Yes? One thing we missed out is that when it's here, this is غَيْرْ amil. This does not affect the Arab. And this is what? Amil. This makes the word after it what? Mansub. The word after illa is what? Mansub. Yes? Okay. So look. Tell me, what kind of illa is this? In the sentence. Why is it hasr? Because it's ma, so straight away it's going to be hasr. Akala sa'imuna illa ahmad. What kind of illa is this? Istithna. Istithna. Why is it istithna? No. no negative here. This means what? Ma and illa mean? No. Only. And this illa means? Except. Do you understand? La yaghfiru dhunuba illa Allah. What kind of illa is this? Hasr. Why is it hasr? Because of la. يَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا الشِّرْكِ What kind of illa is this? Why is it istisna? There is no negative before it. No negative. So it's going to be istisna. Do you understand that? So let's just translate them quickly so we get an idea. So مَا أَكَلَ إِلَّا أَحْمَدْ Only Ahmad ate. This is what? Only Ahmad ate. This one, the fasting people ate. Okay? Except, here I put except because, because what? It's istithna. Are you following? Here, what does this mean? لا يغفر الذنوب إلا الله Only Allah forgives sins. يغفر الله الذنوب إلا الشركة Allah forgives sins except shirk and polytheism. Do you understand? So, we have sentence order, harf al-taqiq, qad and laqad. We have noon al-tawkid, lam with the fatha at the end and the noon mushadad at the end. And harf al-hasr, 
which is illa after a nafi. And keep in mind, if it's not a nafi before, it's going to be not harful hasir, but what? Harful istithna. Okay, subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, wa bihamdika, wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta, wa nashadu